Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. The Deputy King of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa at Qudaybiyah Palace today. The Deputy King and His Royal Highness the Premier loaded the stances expressed by the citizens of Bahrain, expressing deep pride in the Bahraini people's rejection of everything that may affect its national unity or its cohesive social fabric, as well as against any act or conduct that is considered an interference in the Kingdom's internal affairs. They affirmed that such popular stances reflect the Bahraini people's authenticity, cohesion and keenness on defending the nation against all issues that may put its security and stability at risk. The Deputy King and His Royal Highness the Premier, while discussing His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's visit to France, loaded the progress of cooperation between the two friendly countries, noting that the royal visit will contribute to bolstering bilateral cooperation through opening up wider horizons for it. The latest regional and global developments were also reviewed. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the former chairperson of the Migrant Workers Protection Society, Marietta Diaz, at Rafah Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Deputy King highlighted Bahrain's commitment to the protection and advancement of individual rights, outlining the Kingdom's efforts to uphold these rights through extensive legislations and institutional mechanisms. The Deputy King stressed that these efforts are an integral part of the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty. Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted Bahrain's landmark achievements in the protection of migrant workers, which have received wide international recognition. The Deputy King concluded by the thanking of the cha former chairperson of her efforts in promoting migrant workers' rights and wished the Migrant Workers Protection Society further success in achieving all of its goals. For her part, Marietta Diaz expressed appreciation and gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and welcomed Bahrain's ongoing efforts in the protection of migrant workers. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting and Secretary General Dr. Yasser Al Nasser delivered a statement. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of the visits held by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to brotherly countries that aim to enhance the multilateral relations and cooperation. He praised the outcomes of His Majesty's visits to Hungary and France and hailed the agreements and MOUs signed with France. His Royal Highness then highlighted the importance of holding exhibitions that increase the investment opportunities in the kingdom, such as Gulf Property Show 2019 that was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness. His Royal Highness directed to double the social financial assistance for beneficiaries and directed the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to follow up on the matter quickly, especially that the holy month of Ramadan is approaching. His Royal Highness then directed the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to increase monitoring on product prices and ensure the stability of prices in the market. He congratulated Bahraini employees on the occasion of Labor Day and praised the efforts and contributions in the growth and development of the kingdom. He praised cooperation between the labor force, business owners and the government. 
On the occasion of the world's press Freedom Day, His Royal Highness praised the role of Bahraini press in enhancing the kingdom's unity and social fabric and stressed his keenness to protect the freedom of speech that is respected by the kingdom's constitution. And on the occasion of the 10 years anniversary of the launching of the government significant award, following the celebration that was held under the patronage of the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, the cabinet praised the achievement of the kingdom in the ICT field, which was recognized regionally and internationally, which led the Kingdom of Bahrain to rank first in the Telecommunication Development Index and the fourth in the United Nations Infrastructure Index. The Cabinet praised the role of the Supreme Committee for Information and Telecommunication in implementing the directives of the government in this field. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to speed up the implementation procedure to activate the decision on the conditions and controls of granting two hours of rest to the employee for a worker with disabilities or who cares for a person with a disability. These regulations are being set by the Ministry of Work and Social Development, the Ministry of Health and the Social Service Bureau. The Cabinet approved a memorandum of understanding signed between the Labour Market Regulatory Authority and the National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons from one side and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime UNODC concerning the funding of training national cadres as well as the development of a strategic work plan for the Regional Center for Training and Capabilities Development to combat trafficking as recommended by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs which was presented by the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Committee. The Cabinet approved the government's response regarding the proposal of the Representatives' Council to provide medicines for cancer patients and restudy the policy of the Ministry of Health in the provision of the medicines for chronic diseases, especially cancer. That is, the proposal is achieved through the provision of 200 varieties of cancer drugs at the Salmania Medical Complex that measures taken to fill any shortage. This is in addition to the government's efforts that are carried through the Ministry of Health to develop systems and procedures for monitoring the inventory of medicines, in addition to the process of disbursement and the electronic system currently being prepared to manage the medicines inventory. The Cabinet approved a proposal by the Representatives' Council to preserve the rewards of the employees of Al-Qur'an memorization centers, as this procedure is currently being carried out. The Cabinet discussed a proposal to establish a central station for road transport operating in the manner of airports to travel between countries. The Council decided to return the proposal to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs for further study. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qudaybiyah Palace today the Sudanese Ambassador to Bahrain Ibrahim Mohammed Al Hassan. His Royal Highness Premier discussed it with the envoy means of strengthening the solid fraternal cooperation relations between the two countries as well as the latest developments in Sudan. The Prime Minister affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on supporting all efforts aimed at safeguarding Sudan's security and stability in light of its current situation, stressing Bahrain's supportive stances towards Sudan under all circumstances. His Royal Highness the Premier wished Sudan everlasting security and stability and the Sudanese people further progress and prosperity, highlighting the Kingdom's keenness on strengthening cooperation with Sudan to achieve the two countries' common interests. The Sudanese ambassador expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his interest in bolstering the brotherly Bahraini-Sudanese relations and cooperation, hailing Bahrain's stances in supporting Sudan's unity and stability. He wished the kingdom and its people for their progress and prosperity. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, affirmed that Council's rejection of the statement of Muqtad al-Sadr and his blatant interference in the internal affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain. She described the statement as a baseless and lacking truth, as well as a despicable attempt to shake the Kingdom's stability and interfere in its sovereign affairs. She called on the Iraqi authorities to hold accountable to those trying to undermine the bilateral relations and threaten the security and stability. The Speaker affirmed the strong relations between Bahrain and Iraq and affirmed both countries' rejection to any attempt aiming to strengthen, to threaten the security and stability of the kingdom or affect the bilateral relations. 
The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, met with the Grand Mufti of Russia, Russian Mufti's Shura Council Chairman and President of the Religious Administration of Muslims in Russia, Sheikh Rawi Anaydun in Moscow, Russia. He conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and their wishes of progress and prosperity to Russia and its people. The Grand Mufti affirmed that Russia's Shura Council appreciates the efforts of Bahrain in support of the values of coexistence and peace and expressed pride in the development of relations with the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. He praised the speech of Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed in the Kazan International Economic Summit between Russia and the Islamic world held at Tatarstan. On the occasion, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed gifted the Grand Mufti with all the publications of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs for the Islamic Library of the Islamic Cultural Center for the Spiritual Administration of Muslims of Moscow. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs denounced the statement issued by Muqtad al-Sadr and its unacceptable interference in the kingdom, its sovereignty and independence in a manner inconsistent with the principles of values of good and neighborliness. The Council called on the people of Iraq to put an end to the practices, speeches and violations that target neighboring countries and negatively affect the Gulf's sincere efforts to strengthen relations with Iraq. It stressed the need for respect for the sovereignty, security and stability of brotherly countries to achieve security and peace in the region. The Northern Governor Ali bin Al Sheikh Abdul Hussein Al Asfour rejected the statements that violate international standards and interfere in the internal affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain. He said that these statements affect the relations between Bahrain and Iraq and expressed complete rejection to the statement of Muqtad al Sadr. He added that the people of Bahrain are loyal and united under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Halal Ansari, congratulated the Ministry of Interior for winning the best government to e government service for the Takato service. The project was an initiative of the SCW and was implemented by the Ministry of Interior upon directives from the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rajin bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. Al Ansari expressed pride in the role played by the Ministry of Interior as the main strategic partner in supporting the national strategy for democracy domestic violence and its contributions in establishing a unified database in cooperation with the SCW. She noted that Takatov is considered a national database in the field of domestic violence that works on electronically registering and following up on cases. She pointed out that this project, whose objectives are important on the international level, was announced during the visit of the Assistant Secretary General of the United Nations in October 2017 and comes within the the framework of family stability for the advancement of Bahraini women. Al Ansari expressed pride in working with the Ministry of Interior that works on developing the current electronic system, affirming the urgent need to connect concerned government bodies in order to establish a comprehensive national network for a unified data record that is fully capable of tracking cases of violence and finding the necessary solutions. The SCCW has started work on this idea since 2002. 12, where a joint committee was formed and brought together the SCW, the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Endowments, in addition to the Ministry of Health. The SCCW and the Ministry of Interior have worked cooperatively for two years to develop and operate the project. The Ministry of Interior has addressed and confronted problems caused by domestic violence, especially with the activation of the family protection distributed on the governorates of the kingdom, which began in Muharraq as a model. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia affirmed its refusal to interfere in the internal affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain and anything that might prejudice its sovereignty, security and stability. An official source at the Saudi Foreign Ministry expressed the Kingdom's aspiration for a strong relationship between Bahrain and Iraq in which mutual respect prevails and which contributes to regional security and stability. 
The UAE Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation affirmed that the UAE is following with great concern and extreme anxiety the statements issued by Iraqi Muqtada al-Sadr towards Bahrain and its leadership. The ministry said that the interference in the internal affairs of Bahrain is meddling that can never be accepted. It reiterated that any failure in containing the abuse and relations between the two countries will only lead to widening the gap and heightening tension in a time that requires cooperation and respecting national sovereignty and adhering to the principle of non-intervention. The ministry also urged Iraq to commit to the principles of respect for sovereignty in order to strengthen Arab links and contribute to deepening stability in the region. Gulf Corporation Council Secretary General Abdul Latif Al Zayani expressed his condemnation and rejection of the statement issued by Iraqi religious figure Muqtad al Sadr, in which he abused Bahrain. He said that the statement is an unacceptable interference in the domestic affairs and sovereignty of Bahrain, contradicts the charters and principles of international law, and affects the nature of brotherly relations between the GCC and Iraq. Al Zayani expressed shock at the attempt to include Bahrain in the international conflict in the region and called on the Iraqi government to put an end to practices and discourses to stir up strife among brothers and disrupt sincere efforts aimed at building strong and constructive relations between the GCC and Iraq. The Jafari endowments condemned the irresponsible and provocative statement issued by Muqtada al-Sadr against the Kingdom of Bahrain. It also denounced the blatant interference in the internal affairs of the Kingdom, affirming that Bahrain, people of Bahrain with all its sects, reject foreign interference and stand united and strong against any attempt of division under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa. It also described al-Sadr's statements as far from values and morals and do not reflect reality as they lack the simple notions of politics. The Jafari endowments stressed that the national sovereignty is a line that should not be crossed and the statement represents a rejected abuse to Bahrain and its leadership and is considered a clear violation of the charters and principles of international law and constitutions. It constitutes an abuse of the nature of relations between Bahrain and Iraq. It stressed its full support to the movements of the Ministry of foreign affairs and the measures taken to confront such denounced interference, calling on the Iraqi government to play its role and take the responsibility of protecting the security and safety of the embassy of Bahrain in Baghdad and its consulate in Najaf, according to the Vienna Agreement for Diplomatic Relations.